Data analysis is an old science. Uh, as humans, ever since we have been capturing digital information, we have been analyzing that information to understand what went through so that we can anticipate the future better. Until now, the most systematic capture of data has been in uh, transactional systems, which resulted in relational databases uh, storing a huge amount of information, which has been used for statistical analysis. It has given uh, data scientists and business decision makers a clear understanding of what went through in the past and how to prepare better for the future. Over the last few years though, we are, we are encountering a whole new phenomenon of unstructured content. It has always been there, but the sheer velocity and volume with which un unstructured content is being created is astounding. And the interesting bit is this, unstructured content is in a way, if you look at it, a digital record of all human interactions, human thought and behavior. Social media is now talking about where, you know, people like you and me are uh, revealing uh, details about our relationship, our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences. All show little footprints of how we have, uh, how our life has progressed. All this information is very relevant if it is used in the right way and in context for data analysis. In pretty much the same way uh, structured data has been used in the past, using the same philosophies, if one is able to harvest information from unstructured content, the value for predictability, the value for understanding and making sense of the world is dramatically increased. Why is that? The reason for that fundamentally is the sheer nature of unstructured content. Number one, the amount of data that exists, most of it is unstructured. There are studies which I'm sure is widely available on the web which suggest that more than 80 to 85 percent of information that is stored in today's systems is in the unstructured format, which obviously means uh, at the very minimum a five to six times multiple on uh, uh, or improvement in analysis based on traditional systems, purely based on, on an arithmetic computation. But more importantly, uh, unstructured data becomes relevant because in a single sentence that a, uh, that a, that a person writes contains a whole lot of information about who it is, what experience did they go through and what is the message that they're trying to communicate. So it's not just about that one sentence, it's not just about uh, sourcing one or two pieces of information there. There's a whole bunch more of information that can potentially be mined. While this is, an, is a utopian idea, the uh, idea of being able to detect and uh, determine uh, accurately what went on in the past based on unstructured content the technology for that is not trivial. The challenges there are uh, quite, uh, quite significant uh, to allow machines to parse through a large variety of data that comes in and understand the text in its own, for its own sake, uh, in its own merit. But not only that, it also uh, requires that this information that has been gleaned out using machine learning techniques, nat natural language processing techniques, linguistic technologies, not only stops at detecting structure from that content, but is also able to place that information in context of other information that has been derived from other sources. When this is done, the true value from unstructured content, when it is put on the backbone and the skeleton of structured content, dramatically increases business value for enterprises.